Guys, elsewhere, we've got the FDA. The head of the FDA is coming at you. You know what he said? He said out loud to the world, the, there is no reason that the DEA needs to delay their rescheduling process at all. So the, the, uh, the, the government kind of came at him, asked him for more information. He says he doesn't know why there's a delay, but if he was going to guess, he would say that there are a lot of regulations they need to consider. He also dropped a hint that, uh, that the uh, DEA might be splitting marijuana up into medical marijuana and recreational marijuana and only rescheduling one of them which is definitely going to put delays and complications in there. So that makes sense. Now, the main man, Robert Califf, uh, I don't know, man, this just sounds like a bad alias for Robert California. I know it's you, buddy. I can see you there. I believe it. But, uh, but Robert Califf, he, uh, he spilled all this in a hearing uh, that was run by a Kentucky Republican, where they absolutely ripped into this guy and the FDA for not stepping in and regulating hemp and Delta-8 products more strenuously. Uh, they're also saying he, they're being unscientific with a recommendation for rescheduling, and they're causing all sorts of chaos by just standing on the sideline. But I like this guy. He just fires right back at him. He says, all right, guys, look, the FDA is like a referee, okay? And the referee needs a playbook on how the game is run. And guess who writes the playbook? You do, buddy. So if Congress wants us to step in and actually regulate this, they better tell us how they want us to do it because they have no way, absolutely no way to regulate hemp products. They don't know, they don't have any of the know-how about CBD or anything else cannabis to do it. So the FDA, right, they regulate food and medicine safety. That's their job. But half the time, cannabis is medicine. Half the time, it's not. Half the time, it's food. Half the time, it's not. When is it safe? When is it, when is it unhealthy? Uh, how much is too much? When is it good? They just don't have the answers to any of these questions. So Congress is going to have to like lead the way here. So it's been about six months since the FDA and the HHS kind of got together and said, hey, guys, look, cannabis really shouldn't be on a Schedule 1. So it shouldn't be a Schedule 1 substance. So Schedule 1, by definition, has no medical value at all. So the FDA is just kind of stepping in saying here, they did their research saying it obviously does have medicinal value. So they put, and it shouldn't be a Schedule 1 substance. It should be moved to Schedule 3. So they boxed that up in a little report, sent that over to the DEA, and they are now forcing them into making a decision about where marijuana should be scheduled. And Capitol Hill in its entirety is just beating their door down for answers. They want answers and they are not being patient about it. Especially the Biden campaign, who is relying on rescheduling to win them votes. Uh, his campaign isn't doing great and uh, marijuana is giving him a boost. But Robert Califf, he keeps coming back saying, let me remind you that moving cannabis to Schedule 3 does not put cannabis on the market in the U.S., okay? Just differentiates it from heroin. That's all. And I think he's got a point there.